going to just introduce the day uh, and myself, talk about what retrieval markets are, some of the topics that the retrieval markets team and working group focus on, the teams in the working group, and then what we're going to look at today. Before we dive into all of the amazing engineering and technical side of things, I think it's good just to start talking about why we're doing this in the first place. So uh, a, st a statistic to start us off. Uh, by 2025, the global CDN market, that's content delivery network market, is expected to be twice as large as the cloud object storage market. So that means actually fetching your files, fetching data, and then accelerating it around the world and around the interplanetary universe is a bigger market than actually storing that data in the first place. Uh, so CDNs you might have heard of from uh, the traditional Web2 space is Akamai, Fastly, Cloudflare, CloudFront. But we're focusing here on decentralized CDNs. Uh, so in particular, uh, the Filecoin retrieval market uh, is the retrieval market that enables decentralized CDNs to emerge, which accelerate content address data. Oh, thanks. Um, I guess this isn't, isn't quite as uh, pithy as hashtag fetch the future, but structured it, this sentence in this way, um, I guess deliberately. Uh, with, the, with the Crypto Econ team, they often talk about the emergence of networks and creating the right incentives and the right environment in which networks and node operators can emerge uh, to provide their services to the network. And that's the same in our case here. We want to create the environment where node operators want to pro provide their resources and emerge to accelerate uh, content address data uh, around the world and the interplanetary universe. When you start thinking about decentralized CDNs, it, it immediately starts to unpack into a bunch of different topics. So the Retrieval Market Working Group spends their time looking into uh, one or more of these topics and yeah, trying to make progress on this R&D pipeline, this chasm that we've, we've heard about th over the last few days. I'm going to quickly rattle through uh, each of these. Retrieval provider nodes, uh, CDNs have points of presence, uh, and we, we often refer to them as retrieval providers. What should these nodes look like? How should we build them? How should we architect them? How should they talk to each other? The crypto economics, how do we cause a network to emerge? How do we cause people to join these networks and contribute their resources? What's the mechanisms which will drive this? And then once you've come up with those crypto economic mechanisms, what are the payment channels? What are the, the railings that you can use to actually uh, give some of the tokens to each of these points of presence in the network in a performant and reliable way? Reputation systems. How do we understand uh, the, I guess, the, the reputability of each of these retrieval providers? Uh, how much of an honest act they are in these networks? Indexing, how do we actually find the data that we, that we want to find uh, and know where it is? How can we make sure we can get it to the clients or to these other retrieval provider nodes that are accelerating the content uh, in a timely fashion? Uh, and this is about kind of content routing. It's also about can we find ways to index the data semantically, um, if you like, kind of the Google search of the content address world. Data transport and transfer protocols. We've heard over the last few days about web transport transport, um, WebRTC and the upgrades the LibP2P team are making there, and also the Bedrock team uh, are making advances on BitSwap and GraphSync. And so for the Retrieval Market Working Group, it's about how do we take these advances and leverage them uh, into creating better retrieval networks. Browser retrievals, how do we bring browsers closer to these networks? How do we use all the amazing structures of browsers uh, to allow them to be better clients of these networks and even to be peers in these networks eventually, rather than just clients. And then network monitoring. In a decentralized context, it can often be a bit more difficult to understand how a network's operating. So what ways can we develop to actually figure out how these networks are operating um, without compromising the, uh, I guess, an anonymity of the retrieval providers? There's a bunch of different teams in the Retrieval Market Working Group. Uh, I'm not going to go through uh, 
each one of these now because we're going to be hearing from a whole, whole load of them today. Um, but since the Retrieval Market Working Group started just over a year ago, there's been loads of teams contributing to each of those topics or to many of those topics and also using the technology of other teams in doing so as building blocks. And that brings us to what we have today. So we're going to start off with a keynote from Juan speaking about retrieval markets in 2023. We're then going to split into two tracks. In here, we're going to have uh, the first section, which is about how FVM links to the retrieval market. We're then going to hear a bunch of other presentations from retrieval market working group members. And towards the end of the day, we're going to hear a very exciting launch of Saturn from Ansgar down there. Um, in the other track, which will be, if you go out the, the main door and follow the corridor around, there's a room behind this room, and that's where there's going to be a retrieval incentives workshop, uh, which is being run by uh, Jacob, Marina, Will, and Hannah from the Bedrock team. Uh, there'll be an introduction and a few talks. There'll then be a workshop uh, around retrieval uh, incentives for retrievals from storage providers. And then there'll be some presentations back amongst that group. The room through there is a bit smaller than this one, so I think we just want to encourage people who are really going to actively participate in that workshop to go through, um, and others to kind of just stay and listen to the talks in here. And I hope everyone had the chance to grab a coffee and a croissant and have a chat before we started, uh, but there will be breaks, um, food and drinks throughout the day. We've got a few, a few different breaks, because uh, otherwise it's a lot, of, a lot of talks in a row. If you are new to this space and you want to find out more, you can head to IPNS, uh, retrieval.market, or HTTPS, retrieval.market, or you can scan this QR code, and let's hashtag fetch the future. All right. That's all from me.